Wow. <laughs> I was hoping Zach was going to be here because one of the games, the first game I'm going to talk about is a Zach ass Zach game. So I had. Uh, esoteric, uh, you said. It's very esoteric. <laughs> Zach just played that horror game that he was freaking in love with, was Crow Country. Yeah. Um, Blumhouse announced their publishing label like a while back and this is their yeah. first game they actually showcased a, they were talking about a, few a bunch games. of stuff yeah <clears throat> a bunch of stuff this is the first one that they're releasing i believe and it's called fear the spotlight and it's essentially a yes this looks uh, awesome. it's ps1 like silent game yeah, yeah. <laughs> ps1 silent hill ps1 with um Nah, set in like a '90s or early 2000s high school. Uh, it's got like it's got modern touch. It's like it's psychological paranormal horror. So, um, essentially, what's ha what happens is, and you can read my write up as well. What happens is that you 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 play this lead character, this girl, and she's kind of trying to impress her friend, and her friend wants to get this Ouija board from the library um, so that she could, uh, yeah. So that she could find out if a ghost has been following her. This is all within like the 15, 20 minutes that I played. Well, there's been there was a fire at the school in the olden days, and so um, the school is supposedly haunted and yada yada. But oh, there's like I'm still yeah, there's like minimal combat in this. Like I didn't have any combat during my demo time. But look at this, like the characters and stuff. Um, but it's meant to be like there's a little bit of eternal darkness thrown in there because stuff happens and you see things in the background. You're like, wait a minute, was that there a second ago? No, it wasn't. Um, there's a scene like these scenes where you're trying to run towards the light, but everything keeps feels like it keeps pulling away further and further from you, and it's just freaking awesome. And so, and then at, like by the end of the demo, your friend disappears, and this thing happens where she starts floating, whatever. Um, your friend disappears, you're trying to find her, but then the school's sort of falling apart, and you don't know, like, I couldn't tell if, am I, like, time looped? Am I thrown into the past? I don't know. <clears throat> but all the puzzles are, it's an adventure game. It's like Silent Hill adventure game. It's more like PT, maybe, than Silent Hill. Um, just awesome. Just love the aesthetic. Freaky as hell. Uh, I don't know how long the game's, like, meant to be, but it, it's the, it, it was a memorable experience. Like, definitely one of my four or five favorite games that I played. Just so cool. You can see sort of like this VHS filter they have on that. You can turn that off. <clears throat> the, um, uh, the representative there said, you know, some people aren't in love with that VHS. You can turn it on and off whenever you want. That sort of graininess. I left it on the whole time. Controls are very easy. Like <clears throat> your one of your first tasks is to avoid the this like light, this big flashlight, the spotlight that's sort of attached to camera um at the school so fearful of there you go because you're fearful of the spotlight <clears throat> uh, so as the spotlight is like shifting you hide under a uh, the camera spotlight you hide under a table and your heavy breathing is like you can feel the heavy breathing because your character's getting tense and then your friend says okay go and your goal is to run as fast as you can like you're kind of crawling running and that? sneak through this door that she had just opened it's just so cool it's like it's simple controls like everything's very understandable but the level of like teenage spookiness is everything we remembered from being a teenager and being terrified is in this game and i think it's it's freaking awesome but they got like you know satanic symbols and stuff you have things happening behind you you have libraries and schools and i think it all takes place in the school at least the the, uh, the, the part of demo that i played but really cool i'm excited about this one Totally um, recommend. It's going to be on everything later uh, because I don't think it doesn't look graphically intensive. So it's going to come to Switch as well. And yeah. Um, God, they showed some cool stuff on that Blumhouse. It's thing, so man. cool. It's so yeah. cool. Yeah. Uh, I another a, a Sam Barlow, Brandon Cronenberg Dude. joint. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> Blumhouse knows what they're doing because they're taking that Blumhouse magic and they're putting it in games and they're yeah. specifically choosing the games yeah. that fit their, yeah. their themes so uh not gonna cost a lot but also yeah. has something going for it yeah, yeah. <laughs> the blumhouse way exactly yeah. the blumhouse way 